Welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we are looking at how to avoid silly mistakes in exams. Now this is so important because way too often I see lots and lots of marks being lost in GCSE exams. And this is such a shame because that definitely means that that student has lost at least one grade in their final school. And it's so easy to avoid making these mistakes. So today's video is all about how to avoid making these silly mistakes by using my seven top tips to avoid making mistakes in exams. Let's look at these individually and I'll go into proper detail about exactly what each of these seven tips mean. My first tip is to double check the question. And that means that when you've finished writing the entire answer to a question, you read through the question again, you read through your solution steps, and you try and spot any mistake you may have made. And if you have made a mistake, you need to correct it. You need to redo that part again, so that you definitely get the marks in that question. Tip two is to study for understanding. And that means that you are trying to revise in such a way that you fully understand what the topic is about and the logic behind the topic. And some good tips to help this is to explain it to yourself in your own way. So actually say it out loud and explain it in words that make sense to you. Try to understand the logic behind each step of a method. And if a step doesn't make sense, ask your teacher for help with that step to understand exactly why that step is important. And this is important because it helps you know when something doesn't feel right. And it helps you know when something does feel correct. Three, we're going to read the question carefully. And that means we're going to underline the keywords or use a highlighter if you prefer. And it's going to check that your answer is exactly what the question is asking for. This seems obvious, but people misread questions all the time, and that unfortunately loses points. Four, we're going to practice. Practice, practice, practice. The more you practice past papers, the more prepared you will be. And that means you're familiar with all the different types of question and you know what the typical mistakes in those questions are. You need to self-mark using a mark scheme. So you mark your own work using a mark scheme and this helps you spot exactly the type of mistakes that your brain is likely to make. And when you spot mistakes, reflect on them. So actually think to yourself exactly what went wrong in your brain at that moment which unfortunately led to that mistake. And this eventually pays off because lots of practice will make perfect. Five, be aware of common errors. So you should know the kind of mistakes that people are likely to make in exams. Even better is to know the kind of mistakes that you are likely to make as an individual. So look through your previous tests to find the kind of mistakes that you have made before. And if you ever do make a mistake, explain exactly what you did wrong to someone else. So that probably means talking to your parent or a teacher about the mistake you made and say it out loud so that you are really, really aware of what you did wrong and it helps you know to avoid that in future. Six, focus. So in exams, every gram of your brain should be entirely dedicated to the exam in front of you. You should definitely not be daydreaming. You should not be looking around the room the only thing you should be thinking about is the exam. And so 
get rid of any distracting thoughts you may have and focus. Use every second of the exam to grab every possible mark. And if you do have spare time at the end of the exam, it means you need to be double checking or triple checking all of your questions, trying to grab every possible mark. And finally, my last tip is to triple check. So once you have completed an exam, look through every question again, especially tricky questions, and try to find any possible makes, mistakes you have made. Triple checking will definitely help you avoid silly mistakes in your exams. So there you have it, everyone. Those are my seven tips to avoid silly mistakes in your exams. Good luck and thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. You can also share this video with your friends and families so they can benefit from this too. Check out advancedmaths.com for more helpful revision resources. Thanks for watching and bye for now.